Hi everyone, my name is Mr. Pitts. I'm a friend of Mr. O'Brien and he asked me to speak to you all today about God. And I love God and I hope you do too. And something amazing about God that I want to share with you today is his light. And I call it the light of love. But before we jump into that, let's pray. Gracious Lord, thank you for this day. Thank you for bringing us all here. Father, bless this time as we just share um, and understand your light of love. I pray that this message would um, encourage those of us who are believers to share our light. And then those who aren't Father God, that they will come to know you as their personal Savior so that they too may have this light shine in them. God, again, we thank you and praise you for all these things. In your son Jesus' name we do pray. Amen. Okay. So I don't know how much Mr. O'Brien told you about me, but I'm originally from Ohio. So I live out here in Arizona right now where I'm a teacher at uh, Valley Christian High School. But um, I was born and raised in Ohio. I'm a huge Bengals fan. Um, and, you know, Cincinnati is my hometown. But um, one thing that I really miss about Ohio are fireflies, or as you all call them, as myself, I'll call them lightning bugs. Um, and you know, lightning bugs are the are the f little flies that fly around. They have all the light that shines from their butt. Oh, I mean bottom. <laughs> but um, they uh, just buzz around and everything. And as a kid, I would love to go out and hunt these down, um, not to catch them or and kill kill them or anything like that. It wasn't like that, but just catch them in my hand. And I was just fascinated by them as a little kid, just watching them glow. I would catch them in my hand and look at them, just to watch their light gr glow was just so cool. Another thing I liked doing was not just, just catch them and also throw them in my sister's hair. But that's what just brothers do, right? We just throw, we just torture our sisters. Just kidding. That's not love. Anyway, um, but there's a couple of fascinating things about lightning bugs that I did not know that I thought I would share with you today because they are amazing little creatures. Um, first and foremost, there are 2,000 different types of fireflies. Um, yeah, there's 2,000 species all around the all around the world, and uh, funny thing is, is that is that they're not actually flies at all. They're actually beetles that just have wings that fly, but they're not flies. They're not categor categorized as flies, but but tiny flying beetles, if you will. And then another thing that's really cool about them is that they're not, not all fireflies or lightning bugs ha are, um, give off a light. Now there's a special kind called dark flies that actually don't give off any light. They actually give off a, a stench or a smell. Um, but the reason for the fireflies light is not just to show off and say, look what I can do. My, my, my bottom's glowing, you know, um, but it's mainly to communicate love. Yeah, love. They are talking to each other, communicating to each other. Mostly um, they do so when, when they flash their lights to match a pattern of another bug. So say, there's a male bug who's buzzing around and he sees a female bug and he's just flashing his light, flickery, 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 flick. And she comes around and she goes flickery, 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 flick. And their, their um, flashing patterns match and they get together and they get married right then and there. That's crazy, right? So yeah, that's how they communicate. They communicate with love. They use their light to communicate love. You know, it's funny in the Bible, uh, Jesus teaches a, a um, or John, one of Jesus' disciples, teaches a cool lesson about Jesus. He, in John 1, uh, 1 through, or the first chapter of John, what would it say? The first chapter of John, John says, in the beginning was the Word. And he goes on, he explains that the, the Word was God and the Word was with God. Now, he, 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 this Word that he's referring to, his name is Jesus. Jesus is the word. He is being, being truth. And the cool thing about it is he explains that Jesus has always been. Even before he came down here on earth, he has always been. And one of his things that he did when he came down here, uh, John 1 verse 5 says, or verse 4, going into 5 says, it is, it is the word or Jesus who calls everything to live. And because of this, he brought light to all people. The light shines in the dark, and the dark cannot put out the light. So the reason why he came to earth was to give off his light. Cool, huh? 
he knew that we were living in darkness. Now, I, I, I think about um, when you, if you're outside with lightning bugs, it just, they just kind of light up the sky, you know, or your little backyard. You know, it's a dark backyard, but you see a lightning bug, you may not see 100% clearly, you know, as, as much as you will if the sun was out or if you have a lamp in your room. But in the midst of all that darkness, the lightning bugs know where each other are because of their light. They're giving it off. And that's what Jesus came to do. Jesus, he's not a lightning bug, of course, <laughs> you know, but he came down to give off his light to us so that we could see. And he did it because of love. He did it because so that we could have love, love and be able to see the darkness inside of us. I don't know how many of you are afraid of the dark, but I, I used to be. And so um, when I was little, I had a little tiny uh, monkey nightlight in my bathroom. Really cool little monkey nightlight. Because uh, I was a, I love monkeys. I love monkeys. That's what, that's, you know. But anyway, this monkey nightlight would give off light and I, I, could, I could walk from my room to the bathroom because it was direct hallway there but that light guided me through the darkness and that's exactly what jesus has done he came down to guide us through the darkness and sort of the scariness of this world because if you look at it today the world can be kind of scary but we have a light and his name is jesus who came down to um, show us the way his way here's the cool thing guys just doesn't stop there. Him coming down to, 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 to be the light, um, he sacrificed his life to do so, but then was rose again to give us the very light that 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 um that he had. We also now, those if we believe in Jesus Christ, we also have this light. So if you can imagine, as he came down with the light, we have a light too. What? And it shines. It shines everywhere. It just keeps going. And it's, it's not meant to show us off because Jesus didn't come down to show off his life. Look, look at my light. Look at it. Watch this. Look at it shine. Look at it shine. He just, he just didn't do that. He shined it so he shined it so he could share it. And so now that we have his light, we can share our light too. The light of love. Just like a firefly. As we fly around, or fly, we don't fly. <laughs> As we walk around this world of darkness um, and despair, we as believers have a light in us to give off to others so they can also believe too and come to understand who Jesus Christ is and come to know his love and what he did for them. So I encourage two types of people today. So if you're a student and you know Jesus Christ as your personal savior, don't be afraid to show off your light. So because it's not showing off for yourself, but you're showing it so that others could be guided to Christ, so they can know him as a personal savior. And if you're not a Christian, I want to encourage you to allow God's light in your own hearts, in your own soul, so that you can also join us as Christians, giving off our light. Now you say, what does that look like? Well, that light can be can, can be given off in, in what we say. How we what we say things. Let let our words be encouraging to each other, not making fun of each other, or putting each other down. That's giving off our light. It's being a servant. It's obeying our parents. It's our honoring our teachers. You know, that's what it means to give give off our light. It's it's loving those who may necessarily well say that slowly slower. It's loving those who may not necessarily love us. Who may think us look who we you know don't like us because we're different, because our skin is different, or that we talk different. We still have to love them. Like Jesus loves us. So, I want to finish out today, just encourage you all to show your light. As Jesus came down here to be the light that shines in the darkness, we have an opportunity to uh, allow his light to shine through us in this dark world so they can come to know him also. That's pretty cool, huh? Let's pray. Gracious Lord, thank you for this day. I thank you again for this message that you've given us. I pray that we just be light bearers, Father God, as the, as the firefly or lightning bug bears its light to communicate love to each other. I pray that we do so um, to everyone, that our light as Christians would bring people to you, um, not pushing them away, not keeping them away or 
but I pray that they come to know who you are um, as their personal Savior so they can also bear your light. God, we love you. We thank you for these times. In your son Jesus' name we do pray. Amen. All right, guys, that's it. Have a great week. And uh, listen to everything Mr. O'Brien says. Take care.